Hi, we are Sidewise, an industrial tech startup focusing on image-based AI development. Sidewise is a university spin-off from Hanover in Germany, and we are building the first ever platform for the fully automated synthetic data generation tailored for industrial AI applications. Our team consists of uh, experts in several fields such as numerical optimization, 3D measurement, and AI-based inspection approaches. And we are especially proud that we could recruit Niels Graf Rütsche from his ambitious career path from BMW. But let's get into the topic. 75% of manufacturing companies fail to bring AI projects to full maturity. And one of the main reasons for this is the lack of high-quality image data. Our market research shows that these companies need to employ many data scientists to address this problem and to ensure that the necessary data is properly prepared, processed, and analyzed. Basically, you can say there's no perfect real-world data set. But what, what if there were a way to address this problem of data availability by automatically generating artificial data photorealistically? And that's exactly what we're working on at Sidewise. We believe that every AI in the world would benefit from synthetic data. What is our USP? With our platform, SideHub, we enable the customers to generate their custom synthetic data set and train their AI more robustly and in a fraction of a time. For this, the customer can select the uh, inspection task at hand and upload the CAD file of the object to be inspected. Afterwards, uh, the customer can generate synthetic data automatically and uh, create an optimized data set for his task. With this, he can train the AI, and afterwards, in the customer's production line, an inspection would look something like this. There are several core benefits for the customer. So first, we have a significantly increased inspection performance even for rare defects. Second, we have a um, high um, productivity because the AI development is taken from month into days. And also, we have a better time to value because the product is already be ready before the objects to be inspected are produced. All this technology are, uh, is bundled into our uh, platform SideHub. We offer this product in a subscription-based payment with models starting from basic to advanced to enterprise with prices starting from 30,000 euros a year. The models differ depending on the customer's needs for server infrastructure and service level. Okay, let's take a look at the go-to-market strategy for Sidewise. The machine vision market, AI-based, is growing rapidly and more and more customers seek scalable solutions for the AI integration. We are initially focusing on the metal industry, including automotive, defense, and aviation, since this is where our research background is. But we're planning to grow globally and into multiple industries, first into plastics, logistics, and pharmaceutical. We achieved the scaling by selling our product to first part manufacturers with computer vision teams, as well as machine manufacturers and system integrators. We at Sidewise envision a world where every manufacturer is looking for Sidewise Insight as the label for best-in-class quality assurance. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Feel free to start. Thank you, Koya. I think this is, this is a huge problem for many of the manufacturing companies looking at the yield rates and the default rates um, that they have in the manufacturing lines. How do you train the model? How do you, know, how do you deal with no, uh, unknown unknowns in detecting defaults and making that extractable across multiple product categories? So our starting point is that we need some a priori information of the customer. So typically, the customer has a catalog of its damages that he expects and that he wants to detect. And with that catalog, we can start with our software that the customer can configure these damages. We have a catalog of damages. Again, uh, for example, the customer expected, expects dents and scratches. Then he can select the damage models for that. 
um, and then the AI can be trained on the data set that was generated exactly with these damages and the annotations of these damages. And a quick follow-up question. What is it going to be? Are you verticalizing, going into root cause analysis, tracking back where the faults happened? Or how do you think about you know, moving forward? What's act two for this company? Um, so currently, we're focusing on the metal industry, but uh, definitely we want to expand into other industries. So we're focusing on one industry currently to gain the most experience there and to get good results there. But the uh, switch to other industries is not that hard. So uh, you have a lot of similarities, for example, if you uh, inspect products that are based on plastics, um, also for pharmaceutical like packaging and stuff. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Kolja. Quick question when it comes to what you're actually solving. Do you want to remain within the inspection vertical or do you also want to address the initial manufacturing itself and hence improve the products from the get-go? Um, there are a lot of things that we can think of and that we're, we're planning to do in the far future. So currently we're staying at inspection, but uh, there are also feasible approaches with uh, 3D object tracking uh, for robotics, for example. Do you guys have already paying customers or LOIs or something lined up for the near, near future? Definitely. So uh, we already have an um, annual revenue for this year. Um, so we have uh, several first customers um, with which we can approve our technology, validate them in production. We are already going into production with several modules of our technology this year and uh, have pilot customers ready for the product launch next year for the platform itself. Thank you so much. Super interesting, uh, really tough, uh, tough market, long sales cycles. Uh, how do you, and, and uh, from what I hear, you're working with design partners right now, is that right? Mm -hmm. um, so what does success look like for you within a year from now, and what are your main bottlenecks currently? Sorry, I didn't understand the last part of the question. W what does success look like for you in a year from now with your design customers, mm -hmm. and what are your biggest bottlenecks right now? Um, so currently... Problems, problems, bottlenecks, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks. So currently we're planning uh, with different sales channels. So first there's um, part manufacturers which we address directly. So there will be a bottleneck um, to address more uh, of these direct part manufacturers. But there's another way which uh, with going with the machine manufacturers which sell again to the part manufacturers afterwards. And we're planning sales partnerships. We're already in discussions with um, one of our pilot customers for a sales partnership with which we can address a huge amount of uh, part manufacturers again uh, in the whole wide world. All right. That's it. Thanks a lot, Kolja. Thanks. With a great pitch. Thank you.